Hey, so I wanted to make a quick video about what it means to live in the end because I'm often seeing questions, um, just reading forums and stuff like that from people that um, due to, I think, doing state akin to sleep and, and the imaginal acts, then I, th I think have the wrong impression about what that's for and then what that means going forward. Um, I, th I think when people do the imaginal acts where, you know, you put yourself in a scene and you feel as though it's real, um, it's, it's almost like people are under the impression that this is a magical act somehow and that then when you go forward, you must then pretend like that is what's actually happening in your life when it clearly is not happening in 3D. Um, and uh, this, I think, is just uh, counterproductive. It's a waste of mental energy. The understanding that you need to have is simply that the state akin to sleep the imaginal acts are just to get you to a point where you truly feel like the thing is going to happen where you believe that's it if you can bypass that and just believe just know that it's going to happen um which you know after you have created enough things after you've seen this happen enough times like you know it gets to the point where you just don't really need to do that some people don't ever need to do that if you can just if you can just read about what people are doing with this and believe it right off the bat, you can just start doing stuff right away. You don't have to expend a lot of energy thinking in detail about what you want. You can just say, I know what I want in general, it's done and just let it happen. Like, you know, if you have a specific part of something that you know you want, like say uh, in my history with my business, I knew I didn't want to work for somebody else. I knew that for, for sure, like there was no doubt about that. That was something I knew. Um, I knew I wanted the freedom to be able to set up my own life, basically. I knew those things, but I didn't know how they were gonna come about. So I just knew those things were the requirements and basically said, have at it, create the thing I want. Put me on the path to that thing. So anyway, when you know what you want and you believe that it's going to happen, you have the certainty and the knowing that it's going to happen, all you have to do, all living in the end means is that you live your life with that certainty with you all the time. Um, I think I think maybe a good way to illustrate this would be think about um, the difference in how you feel about going on a vacation when you have one planned for a month from now and when you don't. Like this is, this is sort of, I think, an illustration for this. Um, if you know that you're going on vacation in a month, are you gonna have almost any thoughts about how much it sucks that you can never get the time off to go on vacation? Are you gonna think how badly you need a vacation in like that sort of depressed way where you don't have one planned? You know, are you going to like, or are you gonna go, if you have one of those thoughts, are you gonna go, oh wait, I have a vacation planned for a month from now, awesome. And poof, it's gone like that, those thoughts are gone that's living in the end with anything. The only difference is, you know, that, you know, planning a vacation is a known thing. It's something that you know how to do. It's so it's something that you know the way to get. All the stuff that you use the imaginal acts for and that you um, live in the end about are things that you don't see the exact way to for the most part i mean you can use this stuff with things that you do see the way for in order to make your life smooth sailing like let's say you know you want to be a nurse um it's not that hard to figure out how to get from point a to point b right if you want to be a nurse um you know you have to go to school you know you have to do all the stuff to be a nurse you know the beginning steps you have to start figuring out if you qualify to get into a program you have to you know it's stuff that you can figure out without having to have divine intelligence say well here's the way like you you can figure that stuff out right um but you can also use this stuff to say i know that it's going to be an amazing journey becoming a nurse i know i'm gonna run into all of the best mentors that are gonna you know, shape me into this really exceptional nurse. Uh, I know that I'm going to have an easy time studying. I just know that this is going to be a breeze. I know it's going to be an amazing experience. If you approach your, your sort of known path, um, 
of getting from point A to point B with that attitude, it'll be a different experience than if you don't. But, you know, also, you know, you might want to get into a certain school or you might, you know, you might want a certain program or something like that, um, that you can use this type of thing for. But if you already know what to do, you know, you, you do that thing. It's like planning a vacation. You already know how to plan a vacation. It's for the stuff you don't know the way to get that I think this becomes confusing with because it's like, well, do I walk around acting like I'm a nurse already? No, of course not. You, you know, you go through the process to become one. And it's the same thing for your, uh, the love of your life showing up or, um, or, you know, becoming wealthy through a certain uh, desired path or whatever, you know, you're going to decide what you want know that it's going to happen and then you're going to go through the process to get there and all that looks like is just living your life and going through the events that present themselves while taking the known actions the obvious actions that you already know how to do to get to that end you know if you want um a specific kind of relationship uh you're you're probably going to have to go through the process of becoming the person that matches with that relationship, if that's the thing that you have decided you want, you know, process sets itself up for you to go through. You don't just go from being who you are right now to being in this relationship you want without doing any changing if the changing is a, is a necessary part of having it. And it's the same thing with like getting rich or getting uh, successful with a career. If you're living in your mom's basement right now, um, I, I suppose you could try to win the lottery or something um, if you just have no ambition. I don't know, but I, you know, most people find, I think, the process of becoming something valuable, you know, people want accomplishments. And if you're living in your mom's basement and what you want is to be a doctor, you know, you're not gonna manifest yourself a doctor position without getting up and getting a bachelor's degree and getting, go, you know, going through med school and, all that shit but by focusing on that and knowing it will happen events people situations in addition to the actions you already know how to take or through the actions you already know how to take present themselves and you get there eventually like i've talked about um the beginning of my business journey essentially um i i knew some things i wanted i wanted to work for myself um you know, I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I, I wanted to b run a business basically. And I started out uh, doing something, that, you know, I had kind of an idea about something. I started pursuing it. And in the midst of pursuing it, I saw something else that became a full on business for me for like five years. The original thing I was pursuing was, was dropped immediately when I found the right thing, but I found the right thing through taking the known actions and anyway living in the end is simply going through the bridge of incidents with the certainty that the outcome is an inevitability it's a guarantee the thing you want will happen and you know it that's it and the stronger that knowing gets the stronger your faith and belief is the easier it is the the less the natural you know the more natural it, it is to not think negatively or react terribly to a situation that comes up. So anyway, um, it's not about pretending that things are a certain way. It's not about pretending you're already um, rich or pretending you're already in a relationship. It's, it's existing with the comfort of knowing that you will have those things. It's, it's relief, essentially. You know, when you don't have money, if you think you're never gonna have it, it's a it's a way different existence than if you know there's a light at the end of the tunnel it's a totally different existence it's it's you know one is depressing and um just i don't know the other is hopeful and excited and oh so i can't do this right now who cares i'm going to be able to do it i know i know the things i can't have now i'm going to be able to have later so it's it's okay that i don't have them right this second versus life sucks and I'm always going to be poor and this is the best I can ever hope for and 
it's it's a completely different mindset it's a completely different mental approach to the exact same circumstances that's what living in the end is um errant thoughts here and there don't affect the outcome if you don't let them um it's not about pretending it's it's about knowing that you're already on the road to getting the thing that you really want <laughs>